Okay, so one one place that you see probability used a lot is in games, not just gambling, but also games like video games and that kind of stuff. So we have a we have an assignment that's going to be over probability in games. So I wanted to do some examples that were fairly similar. So let's say you're playing a video game. So here's my video game. Da da da. This is my little TV screen, and you've got your little character. So here's my little character. My character has a sword because he's like trying to fight a, a dragon. And he's having to go through some trials. Maybe he's in a cave. Maybe he's trying to cross, like, an ocean. So let's do that. So first he has to cross an ocean. Da-da-da. Here's his little boat. And let's say the probability of the boat being there, or the chance that the boat's going to be there when he needs it to, let's say the chance that the boat is there is, like, 50% because it's early in the game. So I'm going to say 0, per, well, God just say 50%. And then, like, he crosses the ocean on this boat. And then he goes into this cave. That's the cave. But the cave has a gate, like, that's closing it. So now I want to know, like, he has to get across the ocean on this boat, and then he has to get there right in time for the cave to be open. And the chance that the cave is open is 20%, or let's say 30%. Okay, so we have these two things happening. Let me summarize this on the next page so we have more space. Okay, so the, the programmers have made it that the chance that the boat's going to be there in time is 50%. The chance that the cave is going to be open is 30%, but he needs to have both happen in order to go through and, and get to the first stage, which is this dragon. Like, it's a mini dragon. It's not the main big bad dragon, but okay. So rather than leave it to fate, the programmers have programmed it so that the chance of both being open at the same time is 10%, so 0 0.1. So now... We can, we can answer questions. So the first question might be, okay, well, what's the chance that you make it on the boat and you get into the cave? Well, obviously, that's just straight up chance of both, right? So that would be 10%. And then we can say, okay, well, what's the, what's the chance that the boat will be there but not the cave? Well, that would be, so if we want chance of boat but not cave, this seems like an easy question, but this is tricky. So what we're really asking here is we're saying, what's the probability of the boat and, oops, not band, not cave, right? Well, so we have two things going on here. We've got this and, which means we're going to multiply them, but we're not going to just straight up multiply boat and cave, right? This, this. The, the question is, what's the probability of the boat being there, but the cave not being, the gate not being open at the cave? So boat not being, I mean, gate not being open at the cave, that's probability of not cave, right? And we found out last time that the probability of not something is just 1 minus that something. So probability of boat is 0.5. Probability of not boat is 1 minus 0.5, right? So 1 minus 0.5 is just 0.5. Probability of cave would be 0.3. Probability of not cave would be 1 minus 0.3. So that would be 0 0.7. So then when we go to fill this in down here at the bottom, we're going to use those. We're going to do probability of the boat, and we're going to multiply that times probability of not cave. I know this sounds really weird. But okay, so this is 0 0.5. And my probability of not cave was 0 0.7. So now I just multiply that together. Well, 7 times 5 is 35. We move the little decimal. So that's 0 0.35. So he has a 35% chance that he'll make it across on the boat, but the cave won't be open. So that's, that's what we're going to do with that. It's a little bit weird, but basically you're just going to play around with probability of and probability of not. Right? Probability of the boat, probability of not boat. Probability of the cave, probability of not cave. And then we're going to use our probability rules 
with the and and the or, and we're just going to apply those to the worksheet. So another question might be, what's the probability that the boat's not there and the cave's not there? So probability that neither are in place where he, when he needs it, probability of neither in time. So this is really asking probability of not boat and not cave, right? So we saw that the probability of not boat was 0.5. probability of not cave was 0.7. So this actually accidentally ends up being the same as before, but that's because the cave had a 50-50, I mean, the boat had a 50-50 chance. So probability of him not making either one in time would be also a 35% chance. So you could, you, you just play around with the little rules and that's how we answer our worksheet.